Welcome back to the James Dewar Show and the Seven Steps to Financial Success. Uh, we have a very special guest today. We're, we're profiling somebody from the South San Antonio Chamber of Commerce, Apple Moving. And we always wanted to kind of, you know, we're, our job is, is financial education. And our job also is to you know, let the, Amer uh, the San Antonio public know about uh, quality companies that are based here. And this company started out with all military business and now they're moving into civilian business and we want to talk about that. But it's Alamo, Al, Apple Moving and you can find them at applemoving.com. And we have Randy Lowry, who's general manager and Jake Lowry, who's business development. Welcome gentlemen. Hey, glad to be here, thanks for having us. So Apple Moving, uh, y'all are new members of the South San Antonio Chamber. 24 hours worth. There, there you go. We're glad to have you on the show because, you know, most people's, uh, you know, it's important when they relocate to San Antonio, they need to have a good experience with the mover because uh, that kind of sets the pace for everything else that they're going to do. And we need quality companies here. And that's why we're profiling Apple moving today. And tell us uh, your, your history was in military moving. Um, generally speaking, that that's been our forte, especially here. Um, in San Antonio, uh, as well as Rolla, Missouri for Fort Leonard Wood. Okay. And then we have some government business on the East Coast. So um, through our eight locations, we do do a variety of business, but for speaking um, solely for the San Antonio location, this is our first opportunity. Um, we've, we've been really holding the hands of service members since 1991. Now we'd like to continue that business once they transition into the civilian world. Okay, so why would they pick Apple moving over XYZ moving. Well, you know, the movie business, um, I think it's a bad rap in general because just like every business, there's a few bad actors. Right. And I think when people think of movers, they tend to think of um, a bunch of burly guys showing up smoking cigarettes in their house and getting off the truck and, and breaking their furniture. And I think what sets us apart is it starts from the top down. Um, our owner, John Miner, uh, is, is he's, he's not only a compassionate person, but he understands what it's like to move, luckily, like most of us, both right. Jake and myself. And if, you ha if, if you've never been moved professionally, um, you don't understand how stressful it is. And as somebody who's done it several times and has been in this business since the early 90s, um, I can tell you that e even with all the information that I have and all the resources that I've had to move in my lifetime, it's never any less stressful. So I think it's important to have folks uh, not only on the street that are handling, and, and this is what we tell our troops. Right. When you're going into somebody's home, um, it, it may not look like much sometimes. You know, maybe it's not the best furniture, or maybe there's, you know, the paintings are from Ikea or whatever it is. But remember, it, it's, it's not what it financially represents. What it represents is hard work and the blood, sweat, and tears that it took to acquire all of those things. And remember that when you're doing that because it's just like your own things. They're just as important to you. It's the same for them. So empathy is the thing that sets us apart. Yeah, that's that's a that's the way to look at it. I mean, I, I didn't uh, never thought of it that way, and uh, it's so true because you know, like I said, you you want to have that good experience. And so, how can people contact Apple Moving? Well, they can do it uh, applemoving.com. Obviously, uh, they can also call. They can reach out to us um, through various social media sites, which. Um, we're not exactly proficient in, but we're working towards that right now. Um, it's baby steps on that end. Okay. Um, and of course, Jake being in business development, Jake, is, his phone is always available 24 hours a day. He probably doesn't want to hear that. But and Jake, uh, what is your phone number? Yeah, best way to reach me is by cell phone. And that number is 314-471-5947. Uh, so I couldn't help to sit to have this Randy Lowry and Jake Lowry. What is the relationship here? Well, obviously, he's my son. There you go. Okay. Uh, but we, we also have, and, and I'll, let, I'll let Jake finish this part, we have um, a, a mutual relationship through his grandfather, who is uh, considered an icon in this industry. He, he unfortunately passed away in 2017, um, but he is how I got into this business. Okay. And he is the person that mentored me. He was the president and chief executive officer of, of United Van Lines for 26 years. Wow, um, and he is the one that brought uh, that 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 brought modern day moving and customer service, uh, brought it to the table for the first time, and and made moving what it is today. So every time you see um, something that that maybe strikes your fancy about a moving company that doesn't seem to fit, you go, "Wow, we didn't know they did that." Mm -hmm. He is the person most likely that was behind that. Well, that's so special to have that family lineage, and 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 so you, your son. Is there any other family members that work in the business? 
Uh, yeah, so it's, it's definitely a family affair for me in, in, in particular. Um, got obviously dad here. Uh, mom's been in the business for 30 plus years. Got uncles, aunts that have all been in the industry. Uh, if not now, then uh, at some point in their lives in addition to grandpa. So um, this is now the second company we work together uh, at and we do a, a really good job of keeping business and personal stuff separate. And, uh, you know, sometimes he has to kind of kind of give me a, the, the backhand a little bit and, and just remind me that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm his, his, he's my boss that I'm talking to, not just a, uh, not my dad. So, well, that's that's that kind of segues a little bit to you know my program. I do a lot of uh, we visit a lot about buy sell agreements to make sure families are, are happy because uh, you know you want to have the continuity, and so there there's certain financial uh, products you can use to to ensure that there's funding that allows for continuity of families, and it's it's great to have a family business. Uh, here in San Antonio, you can rely on. And I can tell from the passion in y'all's voices that uh, you're going to take care of your your clients when they move. So, you, I mean, I just went to AppleMoving.com, and and then we'll have a good, just drop down to locations and go right down to San Antonio, and, and there you go. So, and also, of course, everybody wants to call Jake at any time, day or night. You just got in town. You call him at 314-471-5947. That's 314 314- Four seven one five nine four seven, and I don't hesitate giving out your cell phone because I give my out my cell phone all the time. I like people to text me, to call me, you know, because I enjoy working with people, and I know you all do too. So, where is there a, 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 a like if I want to move local, are y'all the one to call? Absolutely. If I want to move across the country, we can handle that. I mean, as obviously, well. you got eight locations around the country, mm-hmm. so you have that logistics that that uh, you can take for interstate uh, type travel and all that. Or if you're moving, your office happens to be moving, your office has three people or 300, okay. we take care so of that as commercial. well. So the, the commercial side is a big part of what we do and, and we have several of those accounts. Um, and, and we have a team here in San Antonio that um, as somebody who's been in this business for a long time at both the corporate and the agency level, um, I put this team up against anybody. I have uh, Letty Garza is just a spectacular operations manager. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Miner, our owner, his mother works in accounts uh, receivable for us. So it, it truly is a family affair, and, and there are real faces and people uh, with hearts that really care about your things behind every moving truck that pulls up in front of your house. So is there opportunities for employment with Apple Moving? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Uh, usually, uh, we're always looking for CDL drivers. Okay. okay. That is, CDL. you know, labor is our biggest shortage in this industry, as that it is in a lot of industries. But the trucking industry and transportation, we need people... Um, you know, we need we need really solid human beings behind that wheel, um, not just people who know how to operate it safely, but who understand what it's like when you're a guest in somebody's house delivering or picking up their things. Yeah. Um, so, uh, if if I'm if I'm moving, how much in advance do I need to call Apple Moving? Well, the, the earlier the better is uh, is what we always say. Now, it's not to say that uh, we couldn't get it done, you know, on shorter notice. Um, it really all just depends on scheduling, you know. Um, but I would say comfortably we would need probably two weeks at, at a minimum okay. to uh, make sure we can come out. We always want to go out and do an in-home estimate so that we're making sure everything's accurate. You know, everybody hears the horror stories of uh, somebody that does a, a quote online or over the phone and, and things go disastrous. You know, there's the, the, the move costs twice as, as much as it was quoted so that's why we always like to get out and get in the home uh, get eyes on everything that's going to be moving or not moving um, and, and again two weeks is a is a safe time frame but uh, you know I'd say if uh, if you're a go-getter I've had people uh, contact me almost a year in advance before you know and nine that's a smart months thing before to do. It, it, you know what yeah. it is um, and the good thing about that is you know in, in this industry pricing does change you know throughout different periods of the year and once you book the the pricing is then locked in so if you uh, if you're the earlier you know the the earlier you are um, the the better your price could potentially be and uh, you know obviously if you're in a, a busier time of the year we can always talk about getting you you know pricing for the the slower times or the uh, less busy times of the year where the pricing is going to be a little better. Yeah. So Jake, do y'all do uh, pre-moving? Will you help uh, pack up somebody? 
Absolutely. We offer packing services, um, unpacking services, and, you know, just some things that people don't really think about when they think of a traditional moving company. We could do something as simple as moving a piano. Uh, we can move any type of, you know, grand piano, upright piano. We could do things of that nature, but we uh, we do absolutely offer packing services. Yeah, and you all know all the ins and outs by the, the long family history that you all had in the moving business, and that's that's important. Some of my best friends have been in the moving industry, and I know they, they take it they take it very personal, and they they have the highest ethical, you know, uh, you know, uh, and moral, you know, like upbringing that they want to make sure that their clients are taken care of. And I get that feeling here, and it's, that's why it's good to kind of meet per, uh, face to face. And that's why it's good when you're going to do a move, you call and Apple Moving will come in your house and do a face to face uh, inventory and give you a, a estimate. Does the estimate change or can it change it on moving day or? It, you know, it depends on the type of contract that you're offered. Now, if, if you're in a situation where you're really unsure of what you're going to be moving, um, you know, the price could end up changing based okay. on what you do actually move. Now, if you uh, if you have a situation where uh, you're 100% sure that every item in your home is moving or you're, you're you know, getting rid of certain items and others are moving, you know, then we can talk about uh, binding prices to where the, the price would be locked no matter what. Uh, but again, you know, if you're if you're more unsure, there would be, you know, times where it could potentially be uh, a different price that you would see at the end, but yeah. whether it be higher or lower. Yeah, so I'm looking at your website. You have uh, local moves, long distance moves, apartments. I didn't even think about apartments. Apartments, mm-hmm. you do even uh, one one bedroom apartment? Sure, absolutely. There you go, one bedroom apartment, residential, pack. Okay, if I would read this, I would know packing and unpacking, <laughs> storage, commercial, piano movers. So it must be, that must be a niche for y'all. And it says pool table movers. So those are kind of niches that people. You know, they have the pianos and it's very special to them. So that is something you want to have. If you see it listed on your website, it means that you don't know how to do it. You better believe it. Yeah. So, well, is there anything else? We've got a few, a few, about 30 seconds left. Anything else about Apple moving? Um, you know what? Uh, just remember there are faces and, and there are hearts of people that care, uh, you know, behind the scenes that are always uh, the utmost concern is that, uh, the move goes off exactly the way we told you it would for the price that we told you uh, that it would cost. And I think those things, if you can put those things uh, to rest in people's minds, it's almost always going to be a great experience. Okay. Well, thank you, Randy and Jake thank Lowry, you. for for being here. And if you missed any of this segment, go back to jamesdewer.com. That's J-A-M-E-S-D-U-E-R-R.com. You can review this whole segment and uh, look forward to having you on again later. Great. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thanks, sir.